bigger reach than the backhoe and hopefully we can get in and out of the pond without too much heartache. We got one hose that we're going to have to do some repair on. This hose has been capped off so we'll have to get a new hose or a new end and get that fixed. It looks like to tie some of these hoses back but we're at camp meeting right now. I just stopped in to water and feed the dogs and um, water the garden for a minute. I'm headed back out for hang with the kids. But hopefully first thing next week we get this beast up and rolling and start getting the pond cleaned out. Stay tuned. We traded for this. It's the biggest pop-up that I've ever seen before. It's got double axles, nice little tiny tires like most pop-ups have that get big fat like golf cart tires and pretty decent shape other than the roof needs some work the inside needs a little bit of work so here's the cool thing about this thing um, well for one the stove comes outside set it up pop-up has actually got a shower and a toilet inside of it never seen one like that before it's got a screen room and it'll snap onto the outside but we're with all the kids there just wasn't enough room it has a bed back there a bed that folds down the table and a bed up there but still with all the kids there wasn't enough room so we ended up getting an rv instead and we're going to trade this off to family for the use of the, the track for a bit and hopefully we'll get to clean up the pond and dig a root cellar and um, maybe dig a stump or two out of the way. But there's a trade and hopefully we can help them get it fixed up and going. The, the cable snapped on it when we were out here working on it. And so we've got to repair the cable system and then um, do a little patchwork to the roof and a little bit of work on the cabinets inside. And hopefully it'll make them a really good camper to use and, and start going camping together. All the pretty horses. I'll we'll have to get some fly spray going on. So we arrived home. Hey Jack buddy. Arrived home from camp meeting this morning. Dad had to come in for the day to work. And found that beauty sitting in the driveway. It's gonna be awesome. And then just blessing to try that out. I've got tons and tons of stumps to, to dig out and hopefully the, we'll get a hole dug for the root cellar but the main thing is get down in here and get the pond cleaned out as you can see it's been ever since we got moved in on the farm it's been there used to be fish in there but it sounded just a little bit of nothing Enough, it holds enough water to where the horses stay hydrated all year um, but it's not enough that you put fish back in it oh, look at all the blackberries it's going to be loaded up with those dudes look at that More than that. Um, so yeah there's not enough it doesn't hold enough water to where we can put fish in it and expect it to stay in all year and keep them alive or it'd be really awesome to be able to get it up to where we could actually clean it up and swim in it put the leaves that you can see there's one hole right there one hole there and one hole there and I think maybe it's partially because of these trees that have grown up in the dam it's not a real big pond 
I'm standing down at the base of the dam and um, it's about six foot dam. But I'm hoping we can scoop some of this stuff out, throw it back uphill and get it back up on the dam and get it all cleared out. And it'd be nice to have it. You can see it goes over there. It's probably 60 foot across over there. The dam tapers off right here maybe we're fortunate enough be nice to have um yeah if we're fortunate enough we can pull out some more dirt and build this on out if we're gonna have to pull these trees we've been getting prepared and cutting trees without always something going on but oh man I hope it doesn't rain between now and next week. It's finally dry enough. The first time all year to get down in here without getting stuck, I believe. Let's see. We'd have, if we get the dam packed, we'll have probably 50 foot across. And from the dam on back up in, it may back up to 100 feet or so long. And that would be a really nice little pond. We had a, a truck and trailer we could get down in here, but the top floor was really nice. So this is all that stays wet right now. Just a little little mess and the, the kids used to get in it and play. That would discourage them from that since we got the animals now. But here's one hole that is washed down through. And anytime we get any rain or anything, it just fills up that little side area that low spot there and then washes over the side and comes on around to there and rolls on underneath the dam so hopefully we can get in here that machine's got a thumb on it and hopefully we can just jerk these little um, willow trees out of here set them over to the side or something and roll on so this thing will fill up in no time if we get see it's the low spot there and here way on back up to now so hopefully it'll work out to get the dam fixed and start holding a bit of water down in here and we could also use it for um irrigation if need be and, and keep it clean enough maybe we can get in here and swim there's another little spring, wet weather spring that comes up right in there. And then our main spring is back up in there. I think it's dried up right now. Gotta get down in here next week and bush hog as well. Anyhow, have a good day. You guys had to come home from work from camp to come home from camp meeting to work yesterday. And come home and Lo and behold, look what I got in my driveway. How awesome is that? Excited. Get to use that dude.